Hey, in this video we're gonna go over Materia. What is it, how do you get it, and why should you care? Let's get right into it. Materia in general is an item that is used to enhance your gear, especially in late game whenever you want small statistical advantages of other players. That's true for battle, crafter, and gatherer jobs alike. They all want the Materia in their gear where possible. If you're looking to get into any extreme trials or savage raids, then you should definitely melt your gear beforehand. And even if you don't want to do that type of content, you can still get use out of Materia by selling it on the market board. Especially early on in an expansion, you can make quite a bit of gill off of Materia. Ways to get Materia include just buy it off of the market board, you can get it from hunts, you can get it from max level dungeons, you can get it from the adventurer in need bonus, you can get it from treasure hunts, you can get it from wondrous tales, you can get materia from crafter and gatherer scripts by talking to the people at the script exchange. And last but not least, you can get materia from spirit bonded items. Hover over an item to see its current spirit bond, which you can increase by using it. And whenever it reaches 100% spirit bond, just right click on it and extract materia. This will reset the spirit bond and you get a free materia out of it. Now let's say you want to melt a piece of materia into your gear. First of all, you want to make sure that the materia item level matches the item level of the piece of gear that you want to meld it to. Lower level gear requires a lower level of materia. Next up, you want to make sure that you have a piece of materia that is actually useful to your job in some way. In most guides that you can find online for whatever job you're playing, you'll find something called a melding priority. And that will tell you which stats are very beneficial for your job especially. Some gear pieces that you'll find will have limits on the amount of stats you can meld into them. To check this, right click on the piece of gear and then press melt. Alternatively, go into any of the capital cities and speak to one of the materia melders. If you're looking for one, there's one in Limsa Lominsa. You can find that specific melder at 5.8, 12.2. On this menu, if you're just interested in melding whatever gear you have equipped, you can sort by equipped gear. Otherwise, you can use this to find items in your inventory or your specific armory chest. Now, when you click on an item, at the bottom you see the possible meldable stats. For this item, you can see that we are capped on critical hit, but we have the possibility of melding more determination, skill speed, or tenacity. In this case, the piece of gear that we want to melt has an item level of 570, which means we want to find an appropriate materia for that kind of item. To do that, just go onto the market board and then sort by materia in the item section. The materia listed here can be a bit confusing in the way it's named. Just go through it and have a look at the stats. In this case, you can see that both level 10 and level 9 materia would be appropriate for us. Because the item level is high enough, we'd also be able to melt lower level materia into it. But it wouldn't make any sense for us to do that right now, because the stats would be lower. On the other hand, if we have an item that is lower than 560 item level, we won't be able to melt level 9 and 10 materia into it. If you have your hands on some expensive materia, make sure you actually want to melt it into whatever item you have. Because while there is a way to retrieve materia back, there's a chance it will break in the process. So find a piece of materia that is recommended in one of your guides or that you think will help you. Make sure the item level is appropriate for all Endwalker content. Max level jobs usually want great 10 materia where possible. And then lastly, make sure that whatever attribute you're trying to melt into the item uh, is actually going to increase the amount by checking whether that attribute is already capped on whatever item you have. After that, take your piece of gear as well as the materia to the materia melder. And for a small fee, they will attach whatever material you're trying to get on there to the piece of gear. There's a 100% success chance for attaching the material, but around 40% for retrieving it. If you have a crafter at the appropriate level, you can also do these melts yourself and save on the melding fee. And for most players, this is where it ends. However, you might stumble over a term that people use, and that's either penta melding, over melding, advanced melding, forbidden melding, all of those mean the same thing. Some pieces of gear will allow you to melt additional materia into whatever item you have, up to a total of five. However, these attempts have a high chance of failing, and the more materia you try to melt into an item, the higher the fail rate. So penta melding a piece of gear can potentially be extremely expensive, depending on how expensive the materia is that you have. And sometimes people use this to get even more of an advantage over other players. Especially crafters tend to want penta melted gear if they want to be competitive on the market board. 
and for many raid releases there's crafted gear that can usually also be penta melded. However, said gear is often just replaced by other tombstone gear a few weeks later on in terms of stat efficiency. So most casual players never really have to worry about penta melded gear. In any case, that's it for this video. If it was helpful, let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.